Almost a thousand solar panels cover the roof of Shed 10 at Shoreham Port in Sussex. This massive array is the biggest project yet by the Brighton Energy Cooperative. It was paid for by small investors looking for a better and greener return on their capital. This is uh, nearly a thousand solar panels and this is enough to generate electricity for 600 homes. Um, it costs nearly a quarter of a million pounds and all that investment came from people in the community. Uh, we have had investments from £300 up to £20,000 and there are more than 250 people who own this array. The electricity the panels produce qualifies for a government subsidy called the feed-in tariff, which is then used to pay interest to members of the cooperative. Caroline Lucas, the Green MP for Brighton and Hove, has encouraged the Prime Minister to come to the city and see the project in action. Will you come and visit Brighton Energy Co-op in my constituency that is showing the real potential of community renewables, particularly solar power? Will you pursue that strategy instead of his evidence-free fantasies about fracking? What I would say is we need both of these things. We've now set out the strike prices and the Energy Act so that we can be a real magnet for investment in renewable energy. But I also think we should take advantage of shale gas. Even a church now has a solar array. Those behind the scheme predict investors could get a return of 5% on their stake, though it might need more sun than today. Malcolm Shaw, ITV News, Brighton.